Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. I am coming at you for part two of the top 20 best movies of 2018 review. So I'm going to go through 10 through 1 and let you know what I thought of each movie. So let's start, get started. At number 10 is Creed 2. Creed 2 was pretty much about the revenge fight between uh, Drago or something like that. I think that's what it is. Uh, not Drago. I might be saying it wrong. I don't know, but uh, this revenge fight movie was very good. Uh, first time he didn't win the fight. Uh, Adonis Creed didn't win the first fight, but he uh, had to work very hard to get back what he lost in that fight and not to be afraid and he pretty much went through a lot of obstacles to get to where he's going and he eventually got to the end of the f got to the end of his long training <laughs> but this movie was pretty spiritual kind of get up kind of like that to get up and fight mostly and fight for the ones you love and you have to have a reason to fight mostly but this movie I really enjoyed and it made it at my number 10 at number 9 we have crazy rich Asians this movie was like a romance kind of movie we're, sorry someone's cars honking or whatever <laughs> but this movie just had a lot of good love story kind of romance in it and the character Rachel in the movie has to travel with her boyfriend to China or uh, Shanghai or something like that I don't remember but it's one of those places but uh, she encounters her mom that doesn't approve of this uh, relationship that those two are making for themselves and just this movie just had a lot of great points in the movie that I enjoyed sure the mom was kind of a rude very rude in the movie but and very blunt but they eventually she eventually approves at the end of the movie and he actually proposes to her at the end of the movie which was pretty awesome and it made a very good movie about relationships falling backwards and stumbling but they eventually work it out so it was a great movie and it made it at my number nine at number eight is hotel transylvania 3 summer vacation i actually found this to be an enjoyable movie it probably didn't get a great rating but i put it at my number eight because there was a lot of great scenes in the movie that i really enjoyed and uh, great moments about the movie so it made it at my number eight that's all I can say about it at number seven we have Mission Impossible Fallout this was a very good movie this time around uh, Ethan Hunt who's played as Tom Cruise in the movie has to go after some kind of operative in the movie I can't remember what it's been a little while since I've seen it, but Solomon Lane actually gets away and helps uh, the guy who plays Superman. I can't remember his name, uh, his acting name. Ugh, it's eating me alive right now. <laughs> but this movie was Henry Cavill. That's what it is, Henry Cavill. So he's pretty much the bad guy in the movie. 
Well, you don't find that out till halfway through the movie. And Tom Cruise just does this crazy stunt on the building, trying to jump a building. But And right during that take, he actually broke his leg and all that, or broke his ankle or something. And yeah, this scene, that scene was pretty scary and I was like holy crap he's really gonna do it <laughs> and he really jumped that building he didn't fully land it but he made it by catching on to the building but this movie was very good and it made it at my number seven at number six we have alpha a movie about a boy who goes with his father on a hunt to hunt some wolves mostly uh, just to survive mostly to have food to survive and he gets lost along the way while well, he loses his father not he doesn't die he just they get separated and uh, they lose, he loses his son, like he thinks his son's dead, but son has to travel through, through the storm, through the cold winters and all that just to survive and get back home. And one of the wolves actually helps him do that and tags along with him on the perilous journey to get back to his home. And it's a great uh, tale about a boy and a wolf surviving together and making sure they get back home. He gets back home, mostly. And I really enjoyed this, and it made it at my number six. At number five, we have Bleach, the movie. This movie, yeah, there's some weird points in the movie. And... It pretty much basically followed almost everything that the show pretty much explained, and they were on point with most of it, but they kind of screwed up where they have to fight the grand, uh, grand something or whatever. I can't remember, it's been a while since I've seen the movie, but this movie was very good and it made it at my number five, that's all I can say. At number four, we have Ready Player One. Great action movie. Uh, the CGI in it is very good. And very graphical. Uh, the plot of the movie was spot on. And easy to follow. Uh, pretty much about video games coming to life in a virtual reality world that uh, one of the gamers created or can't remember uh, his name or whatever in the movie the character's name but yeah this movie just was very good and I really enjoyed it and it made it at my number four number three is Bohemian Rhapsody this is one of my favorite movies this year about Freddie Mercury's tale and how he formed the band Queen and they went on the road together and pleased a lot of fans with their music which their music was very good I thought and uh, this tale was really enjoyable he did eventually come out as a gay as gay mostly that he was gay and or saying he's bisexual or whatever but he was really gay but this tale was really enjoyable it's it's unfortunate that he got AIDS and uh, died from it eventually but he stuck with the band and told them what he was going through you know what he had or whatever and he still did shows which was pretty remarkable and impressive that he could still land those notes 
those high notes and that was really good and this movie made it at my number uh, three at number two we have Avengers Infinity War this movie was very good it had a very good plot twist at the end where Thanos did win and it's unfortunate that the Avengers actually lost the fight and basically they uh, got beaten by Thanos so I loved this movie a lot and it made it at my number two and at number one we have Black Panther as the movie of the year this movie was very good about King Kachala or whatever T'Challa who has to become the king of uh, Wakanda and he has to he runs into a few obstacles and thinking that he's not worthy of being king but he has to right wrongs that his father committed while he was king and stop this his uncle's uh, son's uncle's son or whatever from uh, taking over Wakanda which is Michael B. Jordan and Michael B. Jordan does reign as king for a little while but T'Challa does come back and kicks his ass and that was a really good fight I really enjoyed this movie and it made it at the movie of the year and at my number one that is going to be it for the top 20 best movies of 2018 comment below let me know your top 20 best movies of 2018 if you have them or whatever tap a like on this video if you liked it subscribe to my channel if you want to this is going to be the last video of the year unfortunately but i will definitely be seeing you guys again in the new year for the falling in reverse just like you album review i'll be doing january 3rd but i hope you guys have a happy new year and i will definitely see you in the next year so thanks for watching my channel through through all of this year and i'll see you in the new year